it's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. Um, permission, you just get a no with my mom. For, uh, Exa forgiveness, exactly. That, that takes about a week. That's still a no, but at least you have what you wanted. <laughs> not wrong. I'm not wrong, I know. Trust me, I've been in that boat many, many times. I always apply that logic. It's easier to ask for forgiveness than permission. If you had a wife, you'd understand. You don't even know. You don't know. I could be 35 years old and living in my mom's basement right now. We already know that's, that's scary. The truth. I mean, I, I don't think it's the truth. The last time I checked, but. That would be terrifying. Could be Josh. <laughs> yeah, I know. Have four <laughs> kids living in a trailer park? Yeah. I wonder if he drives a white van. He does. He has a white Chrysler van. Oh, oh no, it's orange. Sorry. It's what? Orange. orange. You drive a white van too, Trevor. Listen, it's an F. Shut up. It's a van. It's a no, Chrysler van. Trevor. What happened? Huh? That's not. I just ran into a door. Don't do that. That's not recommended. No, I turned the kitchen light off and I ran into the door. Yeah, don't do that. How you break things? Yep. Yeah, you could have broke the door or your foot. <laughs> yeah, my nose hurts now. You didn't have to do that. <laughs> well, you could. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but you could have told her in advance. Come on, what kind of friend are you? Yeah. Well, I would have told her in advance if she would have told me that she was going to do it before she did it. I didn't know I was going to do it. Situations like this is a lot like when you want to get a junk car. Like, you hit a, a wall or something, and you get out and say, is, oh my god, is the wall okay? You don't say, is the car okay? <laughs> that's why. I, that's the kind of truck I want to get. You, you hit a wall, oh my god, my license plate. <laughs> they made a dent in the wall. <laughs> Not the, oh my god, the bumper fell off, but the wall! No, with me, I just ripped the bumper off. Yeah, just leave it. Crime scene. My, my bumper's now sitting on the side of my house. My mom walked outside afterwards, and she's like, What in the world happened to the trailblazer? I was like, you Should've been like, oh, I killed the man today. Off? I killed the man, either his blood was on the bumper. And there's too much blood to hand. I, I didn't want to have to pull that finger out of the radiator, out of the, um... Out of the grill, so I, uh, I, uh, took it off. In New York State, you can't drive a vehicle without a bumper. Same here, but, uh, see, mine is a two-part bumper. It has a plastic part that goes over the steel, so I just pulled the plastic part off, left the steel. Did, did, I, did I tell you about the kid that drove his car into the wood shop without opening the garage door? Nope. Yeah, they found, my teacher found him by work, by, judging by where his license plate made a dent on the garage door panel. <laughs> Yeah, my teacher was like, I walked into the wood shop and I noticed something was up when I saw the, the wheels from the garage door were by my desk. This desk is about 30 feet away from the garage door. Oh, the kid had flown into the door at like 30 miles an hour and his license plate left a mark on the garage door panel. And so my teachers went out into the parking lot and found a car with a license plate in the spot where it was on the door panel because I guess the license plate was off to like the left or something. Away you go. Wow. <clears throat> Pretty. He's using his noggin right there. I found a random button. I do that a lot. I don't know why. You found probably, random buttons? Probably fell off something. No, like, you know one of those, I don't know what it's called. I think it's called a button, like, when you pin it on your shirt, and it oh. has, like, a little picture inside oh, of it. Pen. Yeah. Okay. I was gonna say, like, oh, the next pair of pants you go, oh, no button. <laughs> like, like the Hillary Clifton one that I have? Yeah. But this one's empty, and it has, like, silver dots all over it. Silver uh, bells. Silver bells. How does that go? Oh, please sing Christmas music. It's Christmas time in the city. 
It's True. only October. Yeah, I was listening to Christmas music the other night. I got into it. I was listening to Britney Spears, you know. All I want for Christmas is you. Some George Strait. Oh, yeah. George Strait's new Christmas I know, album. I can see it. I can see it on your um, your last um, thing. You can? You oh, listened yeah. to it 43 minutes ago. Yeah, George Strait, but not Christmas music 43 minutes ago. Yeah. I know. 43 minutes ago, yeah, I was waiting for you. I was like, oh, let's fire up the old Spotify. I got some George Strait going. True country. It's not like all these Luke Bryans that grew up in a small town are singing about your, your John Deere caps that never fell in the cotton. <laughs> it ain't a jacked up it's truck that's never seen a pasture. <laughs> Jesus. It's Jose. Or, it's... No, no, wrong one. Oh, well, it's he- Jesus. Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. Jesus Navidad. Jesus Navidad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it works. <clears throat> crap stuck in my... Oh, I have a bottle of water. If you got crap stuck in your teeth... I don't want to know what you've been eating. No! Not, I didn't say teeth. You said crap stuck in your teeth. No, I said throat. <laughs> well, that's even worse! You shouldn't be swallowing <laughs> stuff like that! <laughs> no, it's a Lego, it's okay. <laughs> you got a Lego stuck <laughs> in your throat? <laughs> don't you read the warnings on it and say not for children <laughs> to three years old? <laughs> I need some Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I guess oh I can't God. play with legs then because I'm like too young. I'm I'm not three yet. I just turn I just turned two. Did you know? Wait, whoa! You're in high. Wait, whoa! You're in high school. The oldest two year yeah, old oh. ever. Hey, what'd you say, Ben? The oldest two year old ever. Oh, the oldest two year old ever. I like it. <laughs> It's not rocket appliances, man. Hey Ben, I just had an idea. I, I like where this is going, but it's probably going to be dangerous as a result of the arrest of one of us. <laughs> we should do this on the state's map. No. On the big field. Uh, and it's, it's related to the game. Does she know that we're playing a oh. game? I think so. Yeah. Maybe not. Okay. Yeah, I do. Mean. So I, I hope you know how much of a loser Trevor is. She's aware. Okay. Yeah, I'm... Yep. You, you can't just tell people that right away, because then they're like, Oh, I don't want to be a friend! You gotta get to know them soon enough. Then you gotta slowly them introduce it. it. Yeah, you slowly introduce it, so that way... They can't be like, oh, you're a loser. I don't want to be friends with you. Because you got a lot into it. You got in, got money, time, and stuff invested in the relationship. The friendship, whatever you want to call it. You can't just jump out and be like, yo, I played farm so I got 682 hours in the game. <laughs> Actually, like... Yeah, Trevor's got more. 915. See, look how much of a, a loser he is. Yeah. I mean, He's probably yeah. sitting there in his pajamas, lounging, got a Lego stuck in his throat. He still, he probably got Lego minifigs all over his desk. Actually, I'm wearing uh, wearing pajama those pants. Are gray cargo shorts and a camo shirt. I'm wearing cargo gray. I'm wearing camo cargo shorts and a blue shirt, but I guess that's close enough. The opposite for my close. It's good enough for the girls I go out with. Um, you mean the ones on the computer? No. I mean, I gotta go to, fa- to football games anyway. That's kind of a uh, well. You're you know, in band. Play, play. You, you put you set yourself up for that. I did. I could. Yeah. Played. Yeah. Turn on. I but then I had like fifty people texting me. Why aren't you in band anymore? Because I'm not. Just tell them you had a severe incident with a saxophone, and you've scarred for life, and you just can't pick it. You can't even dare to look at it again. Like you got something, you got your arm, you got your fist stuck in it, 
and they had to dismantle the, the thing. And so it's Surgically unplayable removed. anymore. Yes. They had to cut it off with an angle grinder and it <laughs> cut my hand, so now I'm not even going to look at it anymore. Yeah, they had to run down the harbor, the EI had to run down the harbor freight, pick up an angle grinder and cut it off. <laughs> Specifically harbor freight. <laughs> yeah, you and can't the, be using a Makita or anything. The, you, you return angle, it when you're done with it. The angle grinder broke halfway through the cut, <laughs> even though it was the first cut. It was brand new. <laughs> yeah, that's why. It, that's why it injured you. Because <laughs> it's not a quality <laughs> item. Oh man. You guys have the weirdest conversations. Oh, you think this is weird? I don't think this is you... weird. Did you watch the video that I sent you? <laughs> Yeah. What video did you send? Yeah. The funny moments one or whatever. Oh, that wasn't even that bad. The, compl- the, 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 yeah, the, the, the weird, the weird stuff I don't even put on, on out there. What? So. Why not? That's the best. Those are the best ones. What's the times? Oh, the only stuff I haven't put out there is the times where we've talked to Jake. And things got real out of hand quite quickly. So. Oh, no. Those were... Those, that was... um. Yeah, you, you know, he, he made a lot of um, racist references. And yeah, and every like time that. we talk about this, you end up doing that. So let's next up. Let's oh next up. Okay. See, that's what happens when a you're in the that, room. That's by that no. That's what happens when you get three teenage teenagers together with nothing to talk about. Yeah. That and the fact that he's in his room by himself and his mom doesn't care what he says. <laughs> that was, I'll never forget that. We just barges into his mom's room. It's like, Mom, can Trevor come over? Or, mom, can Trevor come over? Or whatever. Just doesn't even knock. No, just it's barges over. Mom, can Trevor come over? It's just, hey, Mom, Trevor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> barges and not even asking <clears throat> if she's decent or whatever. Dang. Okay. I always do. Like, I walk through the kitchen, and then as I'm walking through the dining room, I'm just like, hey, yo, I hope you're decent. Hey, mommy, dressed. <laughs> just like, scream, hope you guys are decent. <laughs> that would be the most <laughs> awkward, that would, no, honestly, if they weren't, that would be the most awkward moment of my life, probably. And, like, like I never want to have an experience where I walk into your I, house. I somewhere. don't either. No, and when, when it, happens. no, that probably won't happen except for the one time I'm at your house. I like walk into your house and it'll be Derek and your mom sitting there at the kitchen table, like completely undecent. I'll be scarred for life, and I'll never <laughs> want to come back to Florida. Completely <laughs> undecent. I love. I love how you, you said undecent. Indecent. Sorry. I, I don't even know. How, whatever you almost. I'm, yeah, I wanted to let your imagination wander, and so you could form your own scar, not me. <laughs> oh man! It's really sad how well I know Trevor and his family. <laughs> My microphone picks up everything. Well, yeah, and I stay up talked to both your parents, your brother, your sister, your girlfriend, at your ex-girlfriend, I guess. Yeah. Now your friend from school. Other friend. Yeah. If it's my friend the psycho and should probably be put in a straitjacket. The gift just keep the gift of Trevor Malfus just keeps on giving. I can, like, totally fall asleep right now. Oh? It's only, like, 7 o'clock. It's 8 o'clock. Two I know, and I, woke, like, I woke up at, like, 10. I was, like, so did I. tired. I woke up at 7.30. And I woke up, I woke up, and it was cold. And I'm like, oh, come on, it's cold outside. I look outside, there's frost on the ground. Come on, it's cold. And that's a yes or no question. Got to do a nice 30 degree cold start. 
Oh yeah, on a gas car. Yeah, it's still cold outside. Starting it. Just it's just like. Meanwhile, you're sitting there with the diesel. Woof 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 woof. Oh, she hung up. If I've never had any issues. Ugh. Starting anything, the whole buckle.